How you doing, everybody? This is Jehudek Maccabeus, Maccabeus Everyday Survival. Hope everybody's doing good out there. Well, I think the winter, the winter weather is finally coming up. It's here. I haven't even looked in the mirror this morning. I don't have to. <laughs> Got only a face a dog would love. That ride, all American shit talker. Yeah, I told you in my last uh, video to you that I was going to keep saying it, and I'm going to keep saying it. I offered you a counter offer, and you declined, I guess, by coming back with your ridiculous offer. You know, based on the mindset of might makes right. Hamilton and Burr, bitch. <coughs> I ain't worried if I can beat you in a cage or not. I don't fight with people. Uh, I have realized my age. I'm 54. I know you're 55 there, EFM. I know everything about you. You get on, you get on the YouTube saying, nobody knows me. Yeah, I know who you are. Seems you like to beat on women back in the 80s. That's what Lisa says anyway. If I'm attacked, I'll fight you for sure. <coughs> but uh, in the last four years, I have realized my uh, failures and inadequacies as a, uh, uh, as in my physical and uh, Hamilton and Burr. And that's B-U-R-R, -R, Hamilton and Burr. Go look it up. You run your mouth quite a bit. Even right up to the point of making death threats. I haven't threatened you at all. I'm just calling you out as a fraud. Uh, you did not work for Blackwater. Uh, the guys I know, uh, they have a running Blackwater alumni list. And they say your name isn't on there, Ernie. Uh, and, I, and I talked to Don Shipley yesterday morning after watching your little... Uh, <laughs> WWF presentation, I uh, called Don Shipley, like seven, seven something in the morning my time, it was eight something his time, and uh, if you don't know who Don Shipley is, he is a Navy SEAL, he does the stolen valor thing, you can go look him up on YouTube, and uh, Don Shipley retired out of the Navy SEALs in 2003, and he worked for Blackwater for 10 years. Uh, he was in Afghanistan, Pakistan. He's a real badass. And he said, he don't know you. He also told me to tell you, he said you're a fucking fraud. That's what he said to do. He said for me to point my finger right between your eyes and say you're a fucking fraud. So... Just another fake exposed is what you are, and uh, I think you're uh, you're kind of in a tailspin on this shit. You are a grifter and an e-beggar. I don't know how anybody could get on here and talk about how bad of ass of a survivalist they are, and then beg people. Eh? I've seen some pretty tight spots in my life. I mean, to where I didn't have two pennies to rub together. And I have never begged anybody for anything. I've never asked anybody for anything. Guess it's the difference of the caliber of a man. I tell you what, I'm, I'm not getting in a cage with you. Um, you can have your coach email me, and I'll have a discussion with him. You're too much of a fucking pinhead to have a discussion, a real discussion with you. And, uh, you know, also, since you're such all this and a bag of trip chips, uh, why don't you take Hutch up on his offer? He's still young enough. Why don't you take Hillbilly Homestead? You called him the Hillbilly Hamster? 
I don't think you'd have said that to the man's face. I think that young lad would have beat the brakes off your fucking ass. That's what I think would have happened. That's what I know would have happened. Uh, Hutch, I think, unless he just wanted to play with you like a cat and mouse thing, I think one whack from Hutch and you'd be uh, laying flat out on the ground. That's, that's what I honestly believe. Mad Shad, he stepped up and spoke out against you. There's another real man. He's getting up there in age with the rest of us. But I still think Mad Shad beat the brakes off your ass. Backwoods. Real good man. He's the same age as you. He, he's like me. I just straight up fucking head canoe and be done with you. See, some of us are man enough to know our inadequacies when we start get hitting that elder age. See, as, as you become an elder in a society, in a mag, in a tribe, you uh, move. As long as you've been a man, you move up in levels of respect in the tribe, and people reverend what you say. You you've not even made it there. You 55 year old fucking has been. I'm not even sure you're a has been. I don't I don't know. I, I've not looked into your MMA record. Um, I hear your stats aren't good at all. So, And I do trust my brothers, what they say. I'd trust them 100% with my life. So you can keep up with all your shit talk and call me a coward. You're the coward. I offered you a counter offer. You've not accepted. There's nothing in my email from you. Black Oak Mission 58777 at gmail.com. I'm still gonna call you a fraud. I'm still gonna call you a grifter. I'm still gonna call you an e-beggar. I'm still gonna call you a pinhead. So, you know, you're, you're taking advantage of good people. You, you have no uh, solid survival advice to offer anybody. I've watched you for probably about five years off and on. Um, I found your channel because Canadian Prepper, I'd, I'd seen some of his stuff years ago and I went and looked you up. Now it's an actual channel. You know, and you had just a few subs and uh, I watched some of your stuff and I'm like, yeah, well, you know, to each their own. Um, I, I don't see you as a big, some big survival guru as you're trying to pass yourself off to be. I, I don't see you as a tactical athlete. Um, and there's many more men on this platform, real men with resumes, and uh, and I'm not going to drag their names out because they got channels, they have resumes, they've done the badass things, and they think you're shit too. So it's just a common public opinion of you, of people in the in in the trade of survivalism. You're full of shit. I'm not impressed with no twenty thousand subs, and I'm with Hutch. I think you bought part of them. I really do. Um, but uh, it, it, if you think at any point in time, I'm sure you've seen all the videos. They're all on my community tab of what we all think about you. Um, I'm new. I'm kind of new to this community that I'm in. I've only been around it for, oh, strongly more about a year, year and a half. Uh, I started hanging out at Mad Shad's about Oh, two to three years ago. Well, that beard's all whacked out this morning. Starting to look like All-American Preppers goatee. <laughs> I guess I need to come down and take a dunk in your kiddie pool. Each their own. Just quit trying to fucking sham people. And and from here on out, I've got, like I said, I've got plenty of screen recordings of you. Uh, where you say one thing over here, another thing over there. Like three years ago, you said uh, three or four years ago, you said that you was a contractor in Bosnia, uh, you was a truck driver, and that was somewhat believable. Uh, honestly, uh, they they take about anybody for a truck driver back then. Um, and you said that you had never been to the sandbox. That's almost a quote of your words. And now you're claiming Afghanistan and Blackwater, and you fall out because uh, too much Red Bull in a 140 degree sun and. I had to relearn to talk. All bullshit, 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 bullshit. Our country's chock clear full of GWAP veterans and contractors right now. Bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. 
And most of them aren't running around patting themselves on the back for something they did. Most of them are not. They just come back and became regular, normal Americans. But anyway, that's all I got. You have a good day, poser.